In the last few years, Mayo Clinic Florida has invested in both people, but also technology and also in space to make sure that we are positioning ourselves to lead the development of cutting edge therapies in the field of immunology, neurosciences, hematology, oncology to further strengthen the expertise that we have on site in cutting edge clinical care. Cellular therapy is a new platform to actually develop cancer therapeutics and it is being explored in many other diseases beyond cancer also. The idea here is exploring the concept of chemotherapy, in some cases also adding some immunosuppressive therapies to see if we can target autoimmune diseases. The condition that I was diagnosed with in 2017, I was referred to as scleroderma. I was diagnosed while I was on active duty military and unfortunately began to deteriorate where I had to retire and end my service. My ligaments and tendons were getting tight and my feet would just be killing me like it would hurt to walk. Once I was diagnosed and it was explained to me what I had, I sat back and repeated the basics. Of, I said, so I have a condition that has no cure and it could potentially kill me. It was a shock. Scleroderma is a multi-system disease that targets the skin, the vessels, targets the lungs, the gastrointestinal tract, and causes progressive disability, and in many cases, death. Autologous bone marrow transplantation has been investigated recently for scleroderma. There's two large trials that showed its benefit Dr. Ayala's expertise is bone marrow transplantation, so we got together a few months ago and discussed the possibility of starting to do that here at Mayo Clinic in Florida. So in the bone marrow transplant, what we do is we give the patient a very high dose of chemotherapy that will essentially destroy the bone marrow of the patients and in a way also the immune system of the patient and we will replace it with a new marrow. And by eradicating the old marrow, you frequently eradicate the primary disease. In the southeast of the United States, we are the only center that is offering this type of treatment as a standard of care. My transplant was on April 7th, 2020. Immediate results I saw was my appetite. Immediately noticed also my skin, which was hardening up due to the condition, began to soften up. The discoloration started to clear up. Every day, I'm getting better. It was so exciting. I was so happy to see the results of our work. I can probably say that I have a couple of tears in my eyes. The use of bone marrow transplantation or cellular therapies for the treatment of non-cancer patients is quite rare. This is the culmination of the innovative work that both our clinicians as well as scientists have put together solving these complex medical questions and helping these patients with diseases that are not able to be treated anywhere else.